Hi everyone! In this video I'll be showing a sequence of stretches that can be performed by any athlete or person in training, particularly ones who engage in intense physical activities such as running, cycling or plyometrics. The benefits of stretching is an increased range of motion in your joints, allowing you to get more work out of your exercises. It also promotes relaxation and is a good way of identifying any muscular imbalances in your muscles and joints. The stretches here are to be performed intuitively, meaning that the length of time needed for each stretch depends on how your body responds to the stretch. If you feel the stretch quite strongly in certain areas, allow yourself more time to concentrate on those areas. Once you no longer feel a very strong stretch, you are able then to move on to the next pose. You can perform these series of stretches either just after your warm up or after your workout as part of your cool down. However, make sure that your body is warm. There are no benefits to stretching cold muscle. This will put you at risk for injury and has no benefits in terms of preventing any injuries or improving your performance. So to start, kneel down on a mat or something that is comfortable. We're gonna first start stretching the hip flexors, which are under the hip and right above the thigh. Stepping out one leg, having the knee right above the ankle and your bottom knee right in line with your hip. Stand up nice and tall and just imagine that your hips are being pushed forward, but we're not tilting. Really emphasize on tilting that pelvis backwards. Give yourself a little bit of a, a tuck in. Pressing your hands onto your thigh, you are engaging your abdominals, which are also going to help further stretch those hip flexors. Stay here until you no longer feel that stretch. Moving on to the quads, which are the front thigh on this back leg here. Grab onto the ankle, really flex that heel and bring it to that back leg. Same thing again, a little tilt in that pelvis, engage those abdominals to feel that nice stretch in your front thigh. For this stretch, you often feel a little bit of a contraction in those hips or your hamstrings, sorry. And so sometimes this is not the most appropriate stretch. An alternative. So you come back, place your knee right where the wall meets the floor, step out your front leg, and then slowly rise up until you feel that stretch. Feel free to bring your hands down if this is enough for you. So once you're done both sides, moving on to the hamstrings. So lying yourself down, reach out with one leg, flex that foot, grab onto the knee and slowly bring that leg towards the chest. If you want to go a step further, you can find a strap or a belt, place it on your foot pull onto the strap to bring that leg a little closer towards your chest. Next, take that same foot, cross it over the opposite leg, making a triangle shape. Your knee is out to the side wall, and you're going to reach in through the window, and then pull that leg towards that chest, keeping your whole back onto the floor, and rest your head onto the floor. If this is too much and you find yourself uh, rising up and it's quite tight, an alternative is to do this seated. So you're sitting upright, take that same leg, cross it over to the opposite thigh, and then reach in through the window and just draw the leg slowly towards the chest. This stretches the piriformis the outer thigh and towards the glute muscles. Then one last stretch. 
working onto the calves. Place the ball of your foot against the wall and the heel onto the floor. Bring your weight towards that wall. You feel a very strong pull close to where the ankle is. Uh, that's not a muscle, that's actually the Achilles tendon. So be very gentle here as your tendon is not as flexible as your muscles. Enjoy the stretches and thanks for watching.